A legal battle between Hulk Hogan and the website Gawker. The former pro wrestler is fighting it out in court this time, suing the site for $100 million for posting a portion of his private tape. I was embarrassed what it did to me as a person, but he was, it was even embarrassing as a character. Hulk Hogan was embarrassing. Tell the jury how, how it happened the first time that you actually had sexual relations with uh, Heather Klein. I was just, at, I, it was like a low point in my life that when Bubba says, hey man, come over to the house, you know, let's talk, you know, I was just so desperate. I went over there, one thing led to another, I just let my guard down. I felt like those people cared about me. I felt like I bottomed out. I felt like I just gave up. I just gave up, gave in, and let my guard down, and it, it just happened. How many times were you with Heather? To the best of my knowledge, three, maybe four, but it was it was the only place that I actually felt safe, as crazy as that sounds. And then Heather just kind of started walking to the bedroom, pulling my hand, and I walked with her. It felt really crazy, and Bubba walked in right behind us and goes, okay, you guys, I'm gonna go to my office, and here's a condom. Bubba handed me a condom, and it was all of a sudden, it was just so weird and so crazy, my gut, was telling me that this was off, this was wrong, and, and my, from the from the feeling I had, I said, Bobby, you're not filming this, are you? And he just flashed into me. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm your effing best friend. How dare you say that to me? I would never do that to you. And it just kind of like froze me in my tracks. And that's how I ended up staying in that situation. The first knowledge that I heard there, that there was a tape out there was some still images came up, and TMZ called me and said, hey, there's a rumor that there might be a, a tape out there. A, a sex Just to face whether he filmed you, and he lied, didn't he? He lied more aggressively, more adamantly, because when the video was released, my whole world changed. It flipped my world upside down, and I was desperate to know if he did this because my whole life had changed. How'd you feel? I was pretty rocked. I felt, I felt numb. I just, uh, the news had just hit me, you know, that they told me that Bubba was on in the end of the tape, turning the camera off saying, Heather, if we ever need to retire, this is for our retirement. And when Mike Walters said he saw it and the executive producer saw it, I remember being on the phone with David Houston and I started, my arms have never done this before. My hands started shaking violently and I got off the phone. And I didn't go into a, a spasm, but it was one of those things where I couldn't quit shaking. And David, I, could, I finally answered the, the phone back after David called me several times and he talked me down because he was the only person that I had in my life that I believed loved me and actually just was my friend. On October 4th, of 2012, the defendants, Nick Denton, AJ Delario, and Gawker.com, Gawker Media, made a conscious decision. They made a conscious decision to expose Terry Boulay naked and engaged in sex and having private conversations in a private bedroom. This video which was secretly recorded, which you will hear Nick Denton himself under oath in his deposition described as pornographic and offensive to view in a workplace. It remained on Gawker.com for six months. For those six months, this man stood there naked, and exposed to the world. Over the course of that six months, over five million people visited that. Day.